Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we we talked to the Deja Tribe here in the present, and they were talking about reviving God. Now we just need a tool player. We are here in the, uh, I forgot the name of this fucking area. Uh, Mardra? We're in the Mardra region to, um, witness a contest of, uh, of two players. Yeah. What, you need to be fucking young to play... You need to be young to be able to play a tool? That doesn't make sense. Gotta win. We need a tool player. Yes, he's going to win because the plot will make it so he wins. Right? Prizes? We're giving out prizes? And uh, here's Johan right here. He kind of looks like uh, we didn't get, really get a good look at him before when he was sleeping in that bed, but he kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like Chrono from uh, Chrono Trigger, doesn't he? He's got the same hair at least, orange spiky hair. Performing all the time, then. But you actually get better the more people that are around. Most people, they get fucking nervous and they fucking fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, at least he's confident. Okay, so it's about to start. here. Hide behind this chair. Yeah, let's do it. Let's watch. And we don't get a very good seat. Where are the seats anyways? I mean, you, I expect to see like rafters and or something, man, but there's not really that many people here. terrible. Boo! You're terrible. Get off the stage. Boo! <laughs> Fuck. It's a carbo, huh? He's the second challenger. Who's that fourth guy there? Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. Boo. Where are they getting these people? They're terrible. Why are they getting... 
Why are you even entering this contest? Yeah, I could probably play the tool better than that. And I've never even touched one before in my life. Jeez. Yeah, it's Johan. Well, who's that fourth guy, though, I mean, who's, in, who's standing in line there? I mean, is he even a tool player? Looks more like a scholar or a fucking engineer than a tool player. something wrong with the fucking tool that we're using? Wow, that's terrible. Wow, even Johan was bad. Laruski. Oh, boo! You're even worse than the other... the first two. Boo! Yeah, if nobody can, if he can't play it, nobody can, man. What's going on here? There's something wrong with the tool. Somebody forget to tune it or something? Do you even do that to a tool? Like a guitar? Do you tune it like a guitar? I'm not even sure, man. I don't know anything about tools. I'm assuming that it probably is uh, similar. Yuri. Okay, I guess you're going to go next. And he's going to be terrible. Boo! You Neanderthal, get off the stage. Boo! Boo! Now the travesty continues as yet. Hold no matter how many people tried the terror tool, no one could play so much as a single straight note. Wow. As it became clear that the legendary player has not... Was? I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's supposed to say was. As it became clear that the legendary player was not among the crowd of musicians, Princess M Michaela, or was that Michelle? I don't know. Michaela grew more and more frustrated. And then the final challenger was boot off the stage. Wow. What ineptitude, huh? How the hell are you gonna revive God at this at this rate? It's magical instruments. We need a magical and talented person to uh, to play it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't be doing that. That's not your property. Yeah, you can't do that. Oh, this this fucking lady is a tyrant. Just because you didn't like the performance doesn't mean you get to bust up the tool. What did she say? Did she just say, uh, you may have my head if he plays it well? Okay, we're gonna hold you to it. If, we, if we're not going to remove your head, you can give the rest of us head. How about that? Yeah, come on, Johan. You can do it. Um, if you can play it, then uh, we'll have your head. How about that? One more time.
yes, the brilliance of Koichi Sugiyama, man. Yes. Nice job, buddy. Alright, so this guy actually happened to be the tool player of legend after all. How about that? He just needed he just needed a couple practice swings, that's all. Thou must situation. Well, I'm glad to point those out, out, aren't I? Yep, but thou must. You have to say yes. You can't say no, you are a crazy bitch about ready to bust up a tula for no good reason. stuff we gotta get done. <laughs> Did he just call her baby? Nice. So he's a ladies man too, huh? Yeah, wake his fat ass up, will ya? Tyrant. I'm glad she likes me though, or else, you know, I might be off with my head. <laughs> of course. Age doesn't matter. You don't care about age, do you, Melvin? I mean, honestly, Melvin has got to be honest with himself. He's, he's going to want some 20 something before he's going to be thinking about some 60 something. Let's be real here. Just because men age doesn't mean we have to be attracted to older women. We are attracted to youth, beauty, and fertility. And there's nothing wrong with that. Your master. Princess is pleased now after uh, the contest is over, but there was a, a stretch there where she was uh, becoming like the Demon Lord. I mean, it was crazy. She was talking about beheading us and busting up the Tula. I mean, it was bad. It could have fucking escalated to uh, tragic proportions, man. Crazy Kingdom, let's get the hell out of here. Or actually, let's go visit this guy's uh, master. Although I can't remember exactly where the hell his master is. What? You're drinking too much, Malden. Jeez. Yeah.
Oops. I just like I just like girls that look good. Big gazangas. That's what I like. So uh what the fuck master. What master? This is the house where Johan was sleeping. Talking about fleas? What the fuck, Gabo? You shouldn't have any problems with fleas anymore, buddy. I mean, you're human now. You gotta do stuff like wash your hair and, you know, stuff like that. That way you don't get lice and fleas and nasty shit, you know? Maybe we should get Gabo a flea collar. I live. Is he in the end? I apologize, folks. I can't, I don't know where this guy is. I can't remember. Guys are descendants of, uh, of, of Jan. He's got a similar name. I don't know why I screwed it up earlier or got him confused. Okay. 
Okay. Sounds great. Yeah, so exactly what are we going to accomplish by reviving God? I mean, the world is fairly peaceful right now, right? I mean, we don't get attacked. There aren't any, there aren't any monsters anywhere except in, like, you know, towers and caves. I mean, how bad could it possibly be? I mean, why are we kind of doing what we're doing right now? It's kind of, like, I don't know. It seems like we almost, well, you'll see after this next part. Check for uh, treasure in this area. Okay. Yeah, the Holy Dancer and the Holy Guardian. Kiefer and Layla. Layla. You brought me to my knees, Layla. fact I do Hopefully my actually yeah I don't mind recruiting this guy for it. Danced? Okay, cool buddy. <clears throat> Welcome to the community. Yeah I think eventually uh, with the immigrant town I think for starters, I'm just going to do the normal town, and then hopefully if my buddy Pete Kenshin 1913 can give me his memory cards, I'll be able to, like, switch out different types of NPCs for other ones. That way I can, uh, get the other versions of the immigrant town. Hey, look at this. Gold, man. These guys, uh, I think they drop a lot of gold. At least, uh, they do in, um, in other games. Series. Speaking of that sage rock with Melvin, I don't want to lose it just in case uh, something else happens up here coming up. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is uh, giving the sage rock to Gabo for safekeeping, if you know what I mean. Because uh, I don't want to lose that. These guys are pretty strong, man. Yeah, look at that. Almost 2,000 gold for, for three of them. But yeah, I, I think those guys give a lot. Those guys have been around since like Dragon Quest, the original Dragon Quest, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So yeah, those guys have always given lots of gold. Those are the guys you want to fight if you want gold. Would have been nicer to run into those guys earlier on in the game. But now that I don't need gold, I'm running into gold mans. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Alright. What am I doing on time here? Time to end the video. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest VII. In the next episode, we're gonna... Uh, maybe we gotta drain the lake again. I don't know. I don't know if that's part of the process we're gonna have to do again to revive God. I can't remember. But, yeah, we're gonna have to do something similar, probably. See you next time. Bye-bye.